Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. This is an excerpt from the Book of Saints of the Roman Calendar by Enzo Lodi about the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, celebrated on October 7. Have a listen, but first... This feast derives from the Feast of St. Mary of Victory, instituted by the Dominican Pope Pius V after the defeat of the Turkish fleet at Lepanto on October 7, 1571. Pope Gregory XIII made it obligatory for Rome and for the Confraternity of the Holy Rosary in 1573. In 1716, Pope Clement XI inscribed the feast in the Roman calendar for the first Sunday in October. The Dominicans also celebrated this feast on the first Sunday of October. Counting one's prayers on beads is a very ancient form of praying, used by Muslims and the people of India. It seems that the repetition of the Hail Mary on the beads of the Rosary goes back to the 12th century. Around the year 1328, a treatise named Rosarius referred to St. Dominic as the promulgator of the Rosary. In the 15th century, the Dominican Alan de la Roche emerged as an outstanding preacher of the Psalter of Our Lady, a term he preferred to the term Rosary. The title of this feast was changed from Holy Rosary to Our Lady of the Rosary in 1960. The opening prayer of the Mass was previously used for the Feast of the Annunciation and it resembles the prayer of the Angelus. The Christological emphasis in the prayer is significant since the Rosary focuses on the events in the life of Christ. The antiphons for morning and evening prayer mention the mysteries that apply specifically to Mary, the Annunciation and the birth of Christ, joyful mysteries. Mary beneath the cross, sorrowful mysteries, and the assumption and coronation of Mary, glorious mysteries. In the prayer over the gifts, we ask that by celebrating the mysteries of your Son, we may become worthy of the eternal life He promised. The Dominican Rosary ends with a prayer in which we ask, Grant we beseech Thee that meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Our model for the praying of the Rosary is Mary, who, as we read in the antiphon of the Canticle of Mary, heard the word of God and cherished it in her heart. The significance of the Rosary is found in the Sermon of Saint Bernard, in which he enumerates various events in the life of Christ, and then says, I have said it is right to meditate on these truths, that I have thought it right to recall the abundant sweetness given by the fruits of this priestly root. And Mary, drawing abundantly from heaven, has caused this sweetness to overflow for us. By meditating on the mysteries of the Rosary, we are able to draw near to Mary, and with her to recall the mysteries of our redemption. In the antiphon for the canticle of Zechariah, we pray, Holy and Immaculate Virgin Mary, you are the glorious Queen of the world. May all who celebrate your feast day know the help of your prayers. On this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we praise, bless, and proclaim your name, consenting to the divine word, Mary became the mother of God, embracing your saving will. She became the handmaid of the Lord, devoting herself to the life and work of your Son. Mary cooperated in the mystery of redemption. Because of this, she stands before us, mother and model of the Church. That's all for now. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future uploads. Have a great day and always keep God in your hearts. 
Peace to all.